It's the birth of a straw hat, a boater, the pride of the Edwardian masher, something you can talk through or even threaten to eat. Luton, where she works, was the first place in the world who saw the plats by machine. They've been shaving crowns here ever since Mary, Queen of Scots, lost hers on the block. Over to Fred Seabrook. Fred's job is to stiffen him, and when he's loaded to the brim, he appreciates a cool head. To withstand an English summer, he gives them something more waterproof than starch. He dips them into a nice fruity mixture of gelatine size. Jack Newing steps in on the role of boat sweater's mate. Carefully drained, he passes them on to Joe Vase. Only after years of experience can a man judge the moisture content to be right. For this job, Joe's a genuine claim to the title of Old Sweat. Down she comes, and that little bit on the top takes shape. But it's the last touch of a master hand that counts. Joe's are the hands which have launched a thousand boaters. When he's finished, all they'll need are bands and bows. So many miles of hat bands has Miss Mary Pepper sewn that she almost feels the stitch whenever a new one comes her way. As for Mrs. Ann Day, she's never happier than when she's stitching them narrow for harrow. For at the school on the hill, they wear them wet or fine. They help them to keep their heads cool when the forecast points to eating. 